Now I have a five video series on becoming your own realtor. I will include the link down in the description below. But today I wanted to focus on what a realtor actually does. What happens after you get your license? Now, most people think that our job is easy, that we just list houses up on the market, we open a few doors, and then we show up to the closing to get a bunch of money. Now, for a detailed list of all the responsibilities of a realtor, you can use the link down in the description below. But today, we're just going to go over a quick summary. Now, a quick summary of the job of a realtor is one being a marketing expert to market the homes, but also to market yourself so that you have the clientele to stay in business and so you can help more people. Two, as a guidance counselor to explain and advise of the situation and all of their options, but also as an emotional counselor. Selling and buying can be a very emotional time and we are here to keep them on track. Now, Three, we are also project coordinators, making sure that both sellers and buyers are doing their part and following legal and ethical guidelines, while also making sure that the other agent and the mortgage and title companies and everyone is doing their parts and communicating with each other, managing deadlines, solving issues that may come up, and getting to the closing table, which is not as easy as it seems. And a good realtor will take that a step farther and stay on top of both sides of the transaction, not just your clients. If you just assume that the other agent or the other companies are doing their job, you could end up in a disaster. It's important to stay proactive and keep updated on all sides. But on top of these three, we are also researchers, negotiators, very restricted lawyers, <laughs> administrators, friends, mathematicians, and so much more. This job is not easy and there is no one holding your hand telling you what to do next or make sure you are doing things correctly. It is 100% on you to stay on top of everything, managing your time, your money, your taxes, your relationships. I mean, you work mornings, nights, and weekends, and it can be so difficult to not take everything so personally. I mean, when our clients feel upset, we feel upset. And when our clients are happy and excited, we feel it too. And when you are juggling multiple clients, there are a lot of emotions that you can feel in one day. Heck, one hour. And if at any time your client is asking for something that's illegal or non-ethical or just flat out crazy, you have to bring them back to earth. And sometimes if the other realtor is not doing this with their client, you may have to be the voice of reason for them as well. This can be a very emotional transaction for both buyers or sellers or yourself. So you need to be the voice of reason. Not everyone is going to like this and you got to find a way to do this nicely, but if it's what they need, then you need to be it. As a realtor, you have to be friendly, but confident, both compassionate and persistent, flexible, but organized. You will either barely have enough money to live or your work so much that you're going crazy. There is no in between. Now, there are a lot of apps out there that can help, which is great, except that you need to find the time to sit down and learn these apps. And remember, in one of our videos, we talked about the importance of finding the right office, one that is going to be supportive and provide you with the resources that you need to succeed. I heard it was either 60 or 80% of agents will never sell a single house. So many people take the course because they think that they'll make a ton of money, but without any guidance, they never make the right step to getting their first client. And even if they do get their first client, they don't have the guidance to get them to the closing table. They get frustrated and just give up. Recently, I had shared a post on Facebook talking about how physically and emotionally draining this career can be. From the outside, it looks like an easy, get rich quick option, but it's really not. It's so far from it. Majority of licensed agents won't last their first year. And it is a very difficult, very draining, and yet rewarding career. Just make sure that you are ready before you start this exhausting and financial commitment. Because even if you do have the guidance and you get all the knowledge and you have a great support system, not every other realtor does their job completely. Actually, you'd be surprised how little some agents do. It's 
kind of scary, which is why it's so important to pick the right realtor. We had talked about this in our Market Minute Monday this week. You can watch that here. The success rate of a transaction can be substantially greater with the right realtor. And let's talk about that word for a second. Once you have your license, you are a real estate salesperson. You are not an official realtor until you join an association. That term is trademarked by NAR, the National Association of Realtors, and they are very picky about the use of that word. Now, some people are also very picky about the pronunciation of this word, realtor. Not realtor, just like real estate, realtor. I, I don't care, but some people really do. If you are considering a career in real estate, or if you're just curious, you can take a look at this long, detailed list. The link will be included in the description below and feel free to reach out to me if you want to go over it or if you have any specific questions at all send me a message i am your home girl <laughs> now if you like this video feel free to give it a thumbs up like subscribe and share it with someone you know that could use the information until next time stay happy stay healthy and trust your realtor